Hi, my name is Rose and uh, this is Tranquility Fountain Farm or we're a little bit out. I am on an adventure scouting for um, liverwort spores. <clears throat> so um, Tranquility Fountain Farm is a little farm in uh, Sebizan in the Mediterranean uh, on the foothills of the Pyrenees. And we moss, we moss, <laughs> I love moss, uh, we um, uh, grow uh, moss and liverworts and lichen and other herbal plants, medicinal uh, plants. We make um, remedies, herbal remedies and medicinal teas and lots of other things. We sell seeds and roots so that you can grow your own um, medicinal garden at home. So, um, I have come out because I found this the other day. Let me show you. This is liverwort. <clears throat> and uh, it's half moon liverwort. You see how the uh, little cups there that have got some little tiny green dots? Well, those are liverwort spores. And this is rainy season in the Pyrenees. And uh, so how liverwort um, propagates by itself is by the little female tufts here. Um, uh, they wait for the rain to splash on them and they've got like this repelling system where the, where the rain, the water, uh, bounces off it and collects the spores and they bounce off somewhere else. So this is actually a large amount of uh, liverwort living together in a very strange place because it's usually a very dry area here. So these these rocks must have a lot of like humidity and condensation coming off them. So I wanted to show you how I would um, collect these spores so that I can propagate them at home in our clay because we have a we have an area on our farm which is uh, which is um, uh, red clay, and as you can see, this this liverwort is growing on rocks. So I have a little syringe here without the needle, <laughs> and in here I've got um, I would have rainwater, but I didn't go to my house uh, my farm before. So this is distilled water, not tap water. So it's full. I'm going to take out a little bit so that I can put it on the spore. And I'm going to try to it on so that I can show you. It's not going to be easy. my boot. Cool. There. And I'm sorry, it's not the best kind of a scenario, but what I, let, actually let me show you what it looks like when a raindrop it, hits it. See? See? And, and it's there all coming off. I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to put a little bit more on and then suck. Suck. So I'm getting them all in there. I'll show you the syringe in a sec. So, let me do that again. Doing this very well. Let me do it again. Up. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see here, but there's lots of little liverwort things. It's not easy to do uh, trying to film at the same time. But anyway. I'll, I'll do another video on how we make our little um, clay substrate. Um, um, oh, I'm looking for the word in English. 
I cut them out of the clay. I, I mix, mix the spores into the clay and I cut them with this. Then I, I dry them naturally. Uh, not in a dehydrator, but um, natural temperature. And they're like one centimeter thick. And you can, um, you, you can buy those on our website on Tranquility Fountain Farm. They are inoculated clay discs. That's not the word though. Anyway, you can find it. <laughs> inoculated uh, clay um, pellets or discs. Um, and um, we have a few with uh, clay substrate mosses like um, pocket moss as well. Uh, so there's no moss, you can't see them, there's no liverworts, but the spores are in the clay discs. And what you do is you take the dry clay, clay discs and you place them in your tank. Don't crumble them up, I mean I suppose you could, but th it's more effective if you just place them and then get them wet. They'll melt a little bit, but the liverwort will grow from there. Um, it's, um, it's sort of more, it's better to buy like that because when they grow in your tank they're hardy because they they've grown in that environment um, also a lot of the sort of liverwort that you can get and a lot of the mosses that you can get on the websites um, unless they've been grown like in indoors uh, there's not many moss farms that grow them outside in their environment um, but basically um, they're they're taking them from um, forests and they're taking them from their environments so which I'm not gonna lie that's how I started too that's so I took um, liverwort and I learned about it and I then started um, propagating it on our farm because if you take too much of it out of its natural environment then it'll affect it'll affect the ecosystem environmentally which is bad so um, a good way of um, uh, not hurting the environment and continuing your passion and your obsession about liverworts and mosses um, is by doing it this way. Um, so uh, going to farms that grow them and propagate them properly um, and uh, these little clay pellets for liverworts are fantastic um, because you're sure they're going to survive like a lot of shipping of liverworts. Um, when they ch it, it flies through countries that have different temperatures, especially in the summer and the winter. So when it arrives in your house, it might be brown. Um, it, it naturally, uh, liverwort naturally goes through that process. By the way, a lot of people complain about the fact that liverwort is brown when it arrives in their in their house. You see here, it's not rotten. This is not rotten. This is not rotten. This is a natural process, and then it grows again from it. This, it's dying, you see, and there's, then there's new ones that that grow from this, and it re and it um, reproduces itself, right? It composts itself. That's how it, this is living on the on the. It's living on a rock with like no substrate. It's because it composts itself, and it must. This must have been living here for a very long time, growing and getting thicker and bigger, and it grows on top of it on top of itself. You see how this is quite a clumpy bit because this it's a natural process and if the liverwort arrives and is going brown like this do not freak out it's fine it'll it'll grow again on itself it's not dead it's just gone into like um okay next generation process there you go so i wanted to try and show, i'm not sure if i did that very well but i wanted to try and show you how to get liverwort spores and what you can do is if you have clay um, is inoculate the clay and put them in there otherwise you can buy them from our website <laughs> uh, at tranquility-fountain-farm I'm not a steampunk by the way we have these little gnats that are that go in your eyes so when they're about I just pop these on like this so that the little gnats don't go and feed in my eyes they're very annoying so there you go. I'm not a steampunk, but steampunks are cool. I like steampunks. <laughs> okay, take care from Sevazan in, um, uh, from Tranquility of Anton Farm in Sevazan in the Mediterranean, in the foothills of the Pyrenees. Bye.